Hello everyone and welcome to the very first video in our Git and GitHub Mastery. I'm really excited to kick things off because today we are tackling a very fundamental question. What exactly is version control and why is it absolutely indispensable in today's world of software development and even beyond? So imagine this scenario. You're working on a crucial project. Maybe it's a website, a research paper, or a script, or even just a complex spreadsheet. You are constantly making changes, adding new features, uh, fixing bugs. Now, what usually happens? You save your work, right? Then you make more changes and save it again. So maybe you save it as my project v1.0, which is your version 1. Then you add a new feature and then you think, hmm, I better save this separately just in case. So this becomes project v1.1 with new feature. Now this quickly leads to chaos. You end up with a mess of files. So maybe initially, let's say you created a file with the name uh, report underscore file dot doc. Then you created another version, let's call it as report underscore final underscore final. And then you created another version, let's call it as report underscore report underscore really underscore final underscore review. Now, because you end up creating so many files, you lose track of what changed, when the change was done, or why the change was done. Now, what if you accidentally delete a critical section? What if you need to go back to how the project looked last week? What if you're working with a team and someone overrides your changes? Now that's a recipe for frustration and lost productivity. So this is where version control systems comes in or VCS comes to your rescue. So at its core, um, version control system is a tool that helps you manage changes to your files over a period of time. So think of it as a super smart time machine that uh, you can use for your code or any project you're working on. Now this provides you a lot of benefits. So the first benefit we have is tracking changes. So a version control tool records every single modification you make. It knows exactly what lines were added, removed or changed and in which files. Then complete history. So you get a full timeline of your project's evolution. Every save point is like a snapshot uh, and you can go back to at any moment. Make a mistake? No problem. Just revert to an earlier working version. Then you have collaboration. So this is massive. So in a team environment, multiple people can work on the same project simultaneously without stepping on each other's toes. So VCS helps merge everyone's contribution seamlessly. Then you have experimentation. So maybe you want to try a new uh, radical idea without breaking the main stable project. You can create a separate branch to experiment, experiment freely and only integrate it back if it works out as expected. And then finally, you have auditability. So every change is associated with who made the change, why the change was made, and you can get all this information through commit messages. And this makes it easy to track down issues or understand why a particular decision was made. Now, there are different flavors of version control systems out there. So broadly, they fall into two categories. So we have the centralized version control system and then we have the distributed version control system. So let's talk about each of them one by one. So first we will talk about your centralized version control system. So this is also known as your CVCS. So um, for example, Subversion or SVN or Perforce follows your centralized version control system. Now under this, you'll have a single central server that stores all the versions of your project. And then you will have developers who can um, access this um, uh, central server and they will do a checkout of the files from this central server, work on those files and then check in 
the changes back to the same server. Now, the main drawback of this, if this central server goes down, no one can save their work, get updates or access the project history. Now, this becomes your single point of failure and you need to be online to do anything. So, if, you're, if you don't have internet connectivity, you won't be able to save your changes. So, this acts as your single point of failure. So, generally in, in the uh, current uh, IT industry, you don't make use of your CVCS. You make use of your next version, which is your distributed version control system. So, this is where Git comes in. So, Git follows your distributed version control system. Now, in a DVCS, so every developer will have a complete copy of the entire project history, including all its version, right on their local machine. So, you'll have the central server, you'll have where you have all the project related files. Uh, as a developer, you can also maintain a copy of this on your local machine as well. Now, this is a game changer. You can make commits, view history, and perform many Git operations even when you're offline. So for this, you don't need to be connected to the internet always. You can continue making your changes. You can commit it without internet connections. And there's no single point of failure. So even if the central server goes down, like let's say GitHub, you still have your complete history locally and you can restore your central repository from this uh, local copy that you have. So collaboration becomes more flexible, allowing for complex workflows and easier branching. Now the advantages of a DVCS like Git are uh, why it has become the industry standard for software development. It offers unparalleled flexibility, resilience and efficiency for both individual developers as well as large teams. Whether you are a programmer, a designer, a writer, or anyone who works with files that change over time, learning version control and specifically Git will fundamentally change how you work for the better. It saves you from headaches, lost work, and makes collaboration a breeze. In the next video, we will dive specifically into what is Git and start to differentiate it from platforms like GitHub. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment below with your initial thoughts or any questions you have. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.